Hello YouTube, it's GMB all here with Playing RPGs and today we are going to show you how to make a really cool token for your online game uh, for the VTT. I use Roll20 so this is kind of centered it on that but frankly I don't know if these tokens will work on another VTT. I'd imagine they would uh, because Roll20 seems to be the least popular and if you can't upload handmade tokens onto the other ones I don't know what people are doing. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. I just want to let you know that this is not a in-depth, nitty-gritty tutorial on GIMP. This is simply uh, an in-and-out job, how to make these things as simple as possible in as at least amount of time as I possibly can, while making sure that it looks good on uh, the VTT. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first things first, um, you are going to open a circle token under layers. Open as layers. That's important. Everything under layers. Um, the circle token, I tend to like to be blue for PCs, but again, you can find these things online. They're easy to download. They're even easy to make. Um, the key is, is that the image that you're making, this is the first one, has to be a perfect square. This one is 256 by 256, and um, the circle fills up the square. It could be any size, really, the square, but if it's not a perfect square, it's not going to load into Roll20 right, so you want to make sure that that is the case. Next thing we're going to do is, again, open in layers. Uh, the same uh, image uh, stacking here. We are going to find the picture my friend sent me. I tell my players, hey, you know, I'll make you a custom token if you make it to level two. And some of them do. So this is the picture that was sent to me via email. I downloaded it, uploaded it now to GIMP. And what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that it is kind of in the center of the circle. I sort of want the uh, guy to be popping out here. It's, it's pretty, you don't really need to go through a lot of trouble if you're just going to make tokens that don't pop out of the little token ring. You can just use token tool for that. But if you wanted to give it a little bit pizzazz, this is, this is sort of how you do it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the image out of this guy, out of the background. Okay. And I'm going to explain why you want to do that. Uh, in just a moment. And this is by far probably the most tedious aspect of the whole thing. Um, you, you just want to basically outline the image that you want to keep in the token. And what I'm doing is I'm just left clicking and uh, outlining the main parts of this guy. And once again, you know, it's pretty meditative stuff, not, not too crazy. I like to do this uh, for players if they're, again, well, I mentioned if their characters have survived to level two. I have a whole bunch of like token tool, black and white, pen and ink uh, pictures that I use for level one characters. Um, because in, in Old School Essentials, which is the version that we play, which is a retro clone, as they say, of BX, uh, D and D from 1980. Player characters die, and they die pretty frequently, and they especially die uh, when they're level one. So I don't even bother making <laughs> uh, custom tokens for players until they have uh, their characters have proven themselves worthy. And this is kind of a little bit of a bonus, I think, to make them uh, enjoy their character a little bit more. And as you can see, this is not the finest picture in the world. It's pretty grainy, but it is a good size for the ring that I have, the little token ring, and it'll work. If it was, You could zoom in and do a little bit better of an outline job, but again, the whole point of this is to get this done in like 10 minutes and be done with it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is add an alpha layer to that. Uh, you're going to invert the image and delete. As you notice, you have the alpha layer in the background, that checkerboard. That means that you can see through it when you put it on the board. If you want that to be the case, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you something else that I do. But I'm just kind of cutting out the background right now, making sure that I just have this figure where I want him to be. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. If you ever need to... 
erase one of those little circular waypoints that you clicked, you just press the backspace button. It's pretty easy to do that. So now we have our character. It's all cut out, looking beautiful. Very nice. Add the ring there. Beautiful, looking good. Uh, to get rid of those little outlines, it took me forever to figure this. The hotkey is Control Shift A, uh, and then you can start outlining a different section of the uh, picture if you need to. So Control Shift A is your friend uh, in this in this particular process. So right now I just duplicated another ring. We're going to need that uh, because what we're going to do is we're basically going to erase the the top layer ring, as you can see, over the guy's head. And then we're gonna erase that, boop. See, look, now it looks like he's kinda coming out of the ring. He's gonna wreck stuff. He's ready to go. This guy's a fighter, a level two fighter. He's actually kind of a, a badass. He has, um, I think he has really good armor, like magical armor, but anyway. Uh, we're gonna do that with the sword too, because I kinda want the sword to pop out. Looks like he's out for vengeance. Um, oops, you want to make sure that you connect those little squares. I'm uh, puzzled here. You can control Z to go back. Connect the, the squares so you get that circle and it's all moving around. Then press delete because then you're going to delete other stuff you don't want to. All right, so now the sword is popped out, okay? Uh, but we still have work to do. Um, I don't want like a different background. I, I kind of like the background of the picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate uh, the picture or I'm gonna drag in the same image of Aldous. Is that his name, Aldous? I think it's Aldous. Open his layers. And I do want to have that background because I think it matches the picture pretty well. You could probably slide in another color background, but that's not what I'm going to do with this guy. All right. So now I'm going to kind of match up the two pictures. All right. So that looks about right. Looks like where the other picture is. You don't want the pictures to be off-centered because then it would look fuzzy and weird. And that wouldn't be good. All right. That looks good to me. We're going to get... Now what I have to do is I have to delete all the stuff that I don't need, okay? And again, the, the trick with delete when you use the select tool is when you make your shape of what you wanna delete. Right now I'm just gonna make a rough circle and I'm gonna do it inside of the ring <laughs> because it will hide uh, behind the duplicate ring that I have. Again, I told you this is like so lazy. I mean, it's just crazy how many corners I'm cutting, but like I said, I don't have time to be doing a good job. I'm going to delete that. Boop, there goes the background. Okay. Uh, still got another couple places that I want to trim up. Looks like I got to get the, go to the other image. It's really important that you're clicking on the right image on the, um, in the little box on the right hand side of the screen. Because if you're not on the right image, when you start selecting things with the select tool, it's gonna, you're just gonna make a big mess and it's gonna be confusing and you don't want that. So there I am cutting out all that stuff. Boop, gone, oh, so satisfying to like just click on that and just see it disappear. Um, all right, I'm gonna try and get that little piece. See that little pe the little like uh, little piece right there? If you don't delete those, those will show up in the image and they might not be noticeable, but they are noticeable, and, and th that's the kind of stuff that I do want to pay attention on getting out. Again, I don't want these images take too much time to make everything super properly. I'm just trying to get the token done, make it look good so that it can be on the table. If I ever need to come back and, and dress everything up, I can always re-upload the, the icon to Roll20 and, uh, and fix it. But that's it, okay? I mean, and, and just really to recap, you just get that ring, put the picture in, uh, duplicate the pictures, and do some cutting. Um, easy peasy. I'm sorry that this wasn't really filled with technical information. I, I really don't know, you know, how to use GIMP outside of this process, but if you just wanna do a down and dirty token for Roll20 or another VTT, that's the way to go. 
Uh, make sure that you save, uh, or rather export the image uh, as a PNG uh, to a folder that you can find really easily. And, and that's, that's basically it. But, you know, thanks for coming along with me on this tutorial. And I hope that uh, your tokens look awesome uh, from, from now on. See you.